New at 10, we are now seeing the effects of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. As Team 12's Michael Doudna reports, some clinics that used to provide abortions are shutting down while pro-life clinics say they're receiving more calls than ever. For more than 20 years, it's our life's work. Doctors Paul Isaacson and Eleanor Stanley have worked here. This one is packed up. Where they used to provide family planning care and abortions. It's uh, quite uh, the adjustment to, to come to this empty office and, and to prepare to end it. Since the overturning of Roe, empty shelves replace medical records, boxes replacing patients. It's all packed up. All the service is packed up. See, family planning associates used to see 40 to 50 patients a day. Now, it's down to around four to six. It's very surreal. And soon, they will likely close their doors for good. We have resources, some funds to maintain our staff for one more pay period. But while some clinics are closing, others are seeing a change. Yeah, I would say there's been a noticeable uptick in women calling about what, you know, what services we provide, inquiring about abortion. Choices, a pro-life pregnancy center, has been around for decades, providing free pregnancy tests, ultrasounds, and counseling against abortion. And that demand continues to increase. And for such a time as this, we are here to serve these women more. And to meet that growing demand, well, they are planning on expanding operations. We're going to open up all nights and Saturdays coming in the middle of August. If that's the resource that's available to the women of Arizona, I think it's tragic. See, for doctors Isaacson and Stanley, this current legal care falls short. And while some women with means will be able to go out of state, those who can't likely will face a new reality on what choices they can make. We have gone from being a state where choice is available to a state where forced pregnancy is now the baseline of care for women. Michael Doudna, 12 News.